Hello lovelies, welcome back to the channel. We are here today with another double Witch's Moon Box unboxing. No, I, realistically, there's only time for a double. If I did a triple, it would be very long, but I do have three boxes here and I tried to keep them like in a nice neat order so I knew which order to do them in, but this house is small and cramped and there's a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff's been moved around recently and Jake moved a lot of my stuff around. Now I don't know which boxes are supposed to be there. So not only am I not sure if I'm opening these in order, but I don't know if like these two come one after the other or if there should be like a different one in between. Either way, boxes of fun, okay? It is, oh God, it is. <laughs> Why did I decide to record right now? It's one o'clock in the morning and I was like, hey, do you know what I feel like doing? Also, Josephine's looking very short today because I'm trying to sit on a cushion to see if it helps the back issues. So we're just gonna dive right in. So I'm gonna open up the first one here and on top it is a dark brown paper. So I wonder if that will fit the theme of the rest of the box. Ooh. <gasps> so right on top, there is a little, <laughs> this ex itself doesn't look that exciting. I can't speak. This itself does not look that exciting, but the fact that there is a little sprayer guy means that there is some sort of like spray in here and I always love the sprays, so I'm excited. So I can't wait to find that. But let's get the usual stuff first. So this is our table of contents. I'll read this at the end of the box so I don't spoil our surprises. And we have our personalized oracle reading. Ooh, this one is like based off of rocks and this is peacock copper. I confidently show my true colors to others. I am fabulous. <laughs> and the other side says, I improve optimistic outlook on life, increase happiness, feel confident and comfortable, embrace ability to be in the spotlight. Oof. Well, I am typically quite shy, believe it or not, I'm typically quite shy, but you know what? I should try to be more confident, so that is fun. Very hard to see because my camera is very bright, but yes, lovely. I guess it's one of those things where I'm confident in some ways and then not in others, so. Okay, so this month's, ooh, so we have what I'm assuming is our rock or crystal this month, and it feels very smooth, whatever it is, which is exciting. It's like a nice, like, smooth oval. Ooh! <gasps> Oh, that's very pretty. I have, <laughs> I couldn't even hazard a guess what this is. I know I've seen it before, but I can't remember what it's called. But it is a lovely, like, light blue sort of stone. And I just really love how smooth and, like, just nice this is. So I'm very happy with that. Next up we have what looks like our oil. Oh, and this is, I believe it says, Aramid anointing oil. Let's have a little sniff because, of course, these videos may be called Witch's Moon Unboxings, but they are really just Kaya smell things, aren't they? I definitely think they're, oh yeah, it looks like there's some lavender in there as well. I can definitely smell some lavender, but I made a big mistake before doing this box because I put on some hand cream and it is the Karma Cream from Lush, which has a very strong smell in itself, so whenever I'm like lifting things to my nose, kind of all I can smell is that. But I'm definitely getting some lavender out of here and I can see some lavender, so we know that that is in there. I couldn't tell you what else, but we'll find out at the end. Is it one little sigil or multiple little sigils? We will have a look and see. Oh, oh, it's a lot of little sigils, okay. So yeah, we have four little sigils here, which is lovely. And I love these. I always really love sigils. There's just something about them that is very pleasing to me. And these are gorgeous. So I'm excited to read more about those. Next up we have, ooh, ooh, a number of little sort of pages for our little Book of Shadows, I believe. So first we have a spell, which I would assume goes with the spell candle. And this is Upon Wings of Health. And it looks like this. And then four different pages. We have healing, grounding, prosperity, and protection. So I'll show you each of those. Lovely. Okay, moving on, we have some herbs, which we love. Let's see what's in here. Oh, so we have some lemon peel, some eucalyptus, and some galangal root, I would say. Have a little sniff of all of these. Hmm, the lemon peel does not smell as lemony as one might expect, but it does smell nice. It smells like tea, like a lemon tea. Again, not as strong of like a eucalyptus smell as I would have expected. It just smells very leafy. And then finally, this root. It smells quite sweet. It smells very familiar as well, but I can't place it. So those are our herbs. The cushions are not helping at all. Ooh, so this month's salt is called water medicine. Ooh, there's rose in here. Mmm, rose and maybe mint? I'm not sure, but it's like really, really nice smelling, whatever it is. If I had to guess some of the smells, I would definitely be saying rose and mint. 
and it looks like this. Lovely. Okay, so first of all, I'm assuming this must be spell candles. Oh, lovely. These match the um, the stone that we got. They're just like a little more vibrant, but definitely like, I mean, they look more vibrant on camera. Honestly, next to the stone in real life, they look quite similar. But yeah, so matches pretty well. And they're just two lovely blue tapered beeswax candles with that beautiful beeswax smell, which I love. Ooh, okay. So then the last things in here are our spray. It says healing light aura spray. I think there might be some glitter in it. No, maybe not. I thought there was glitter in here, but maybe not. It just kind of looked like it for a second. It might just be like little sort of bits. I don't know. Hold on. Let me spritz it properly. Mmm. What does that smell like? I can't place this. It smells very familiar, but I can't actually place it. The only thing I'm thinking maybe getting a teeny tiny bit of that I don't even know if I'm right would be licorice, but like enough that it's not like a strong licorice smell. Like if there is any licorice in there, it's like a very faint little like after note, but I don't know. We'll have to find out at the end, which is soon for this box because I believe this is the last thing in here. Oh no, wait, wait. Second to last, because we have some incense and this incense is called Lavender Empowerment. Lovely. Okay, so then the last thing in here is this box with a lovely feather. I have a little thing of feathers here. One, uh, I can't remember what kind of feather this is. It was sent to me in like a little oddities box. I don't know if you guys remember that unboxing, but I'm assuming like a pheasant or something maybe, but I could be wrong. The other two are some rook feathers that I collected from my local park where there's a lot of birds before. Before you comment, before any of you Americans comment, Please remember, America's not the only place in the world. It is not illegal for us to collect feathers here. And if you're an American who didn't know that it's illegal for you to collect feathers, yes, it is. Uh, but it's not illegal here. I can quite happily go down to the park and pick up some feathers if I please, so all is good. I have no idea what kind of feather this is. It kind of looks like an owl feather, but I don't know if that's just like wishful thinking, but whatever it is, it's lovely, but it can join my other, fe other feathers in here for now. But yes, there's been a couple of times when the discussion of collecting feathers has come up in various Facebook groups and people are very quick to be like, that's illegal! And it's like, not everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, my goodness. Oh, this is so very beautiful. Oh, I don't even know what's in it yet, but it's so very beautiful. So there's this little like leathery pouch. <gasps> And it's so nice. I am like immediately very attached to this. I'm very drawn to this. Let me just show you quickly. So it's this little sort of like leathery pouch with little tassels. It has the triple moon here and it has like a little sort of crystal put in here. And it feels like there's maybe something inside. Oh, okay. So the thing inside is just, it's a little strap. I think there's nothing else, is there? No, it's just a little strap. Oh, it's so nice. I'm really excited to read about this piece. It's just so, so lovely. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just immediately very, very attached to this. Okay, so let's go through the table of contents before we move on to the next box. As always, there is a ton of information in here. I do not read all of it because we'd be here for a very long time. So I'm just gonna go through each item to make sure that we got it and then we can move on to the next box. So, number one, spell talisman pouch with feather of bravery. Yes, wow, okay. Okay, I'm gonna like obviously be reading all of this in detail like later whenever I'm not on camera, but skimming over it, it doesn't seem like it mentions what the feather came from, just that it's a white feather, but still very beautiful. Next up is prosperity magical correspondence artwork. Yes. Healing magical correspondence artwork. Yes. Grinding. Artwork, protection, artwork, yes. So we got all of those. A uh, set of four mini sigils, yes. To include within your pouch when working. Hand rolled and anointed upon wings of health twin spiral spell candles with spell incantation artwork, yes, we got all of that. Aramid magical anointing oil, yes. And it has lavender, lemon, and rosemary oils. And it also has lemon peel, eucalyptus leaves, and lavender buds. And there is also a Lemurian quartz and a mixture of enchanted lullaby magical oil. So there's a lot going on there and it is wonderful. Healing light ritual aura spray, yes. It has the oils of eucalyptus, lavender, rosemary, chamomile, clary sage, and a special mixture of blessings magical oil. So yeah, there's no licorice, I don't know. I think it was just maybe the combination of very herbal smells that made me think that, but yeah. Water medicine sacred salt, yes. 
And that has lemon and rose oils, as well as lemon balm, rose, grown sage, green tea, and peppermint leaf herbs. Yes, so I got some of those. And it's also a special mixture of waterfall magical oil. Lavender Empowerment Ritual Incense Sticks. Yes, we got those. Angelite Palm Stone. Oh, that's what it is. Angelite or Angelite? Angelite Palm Stone. And it's a wonderful spirit communicator. Then there is the Lemon Peel. Yes, Galangal Root. <laughs> yes, Eucalyptus Leaf. Per personalized oracle reading and parchment paper, which is always in the back here. So yes, that is everything from that box, which means we can start on the next. Ooh, heavy. Okay, so opening this one up. <gasps> oh, I'm seeing a lot of green on top, and that always makes me very excited. <clears throat> very excited. Love me some green. Okay, so as before, table of contents goes aside until the end, and our personal oracle reading. Oh my goodness, another one. Um, so our personal oracle reading from this box is also confidence. What is this? What are these boxes trying to tell me? So yes, confidence. And that is the prettiest little piece of art artwork I think I've ever seen. It's like a little dragon butterfly among some flowers and it is just so gorgeous. So I kind of love that. Okay. Oh my goodness. So there's a whole bunch of art pieces on top. Oh, there's a bumblebee. Okay. Uh, so first we have a little like mini print and it says green calcite. So I'm assuming there might be some green calcite in here later. And that's what that looks like. We have a lovely piece of artwork that says summer and below it says the green man. It has the green man, it has some lovely flowers and it has a little bumblebee, which you guys, you know how I feel about bees. Do you see the bee? Yes. And then we also have this, which says soul. Beautiful. Okay. So now we will get into the rest of the box. <gasps> I think there's another spray. Oh my goodness. What a good day. Okay. Let me just remove some of these noodlies. So yes, there's another little sprayer thing, which you know. Okay. So first of all, we have some lemongrass rope incense. Ooh, I love rope incense. It's so strange. If you haven't seen these videos before and you've never seen rope incense before, it is like little ropes. It's so, I'd never seen this before I started getting these boxes and it's so strange, but I really like it. We have some herbs. So we've got quite a big pack of raspberry leaf. We have got some orange peel to go with our lemon peel. And we have a tea, Tears of Apollo ritual tea. Let me have a little, little sniff. Mmm, that smells like really fruity and nice. Oh yes, lovely. So yes, Tears of Apollo ritual herbal tea. And it comes with a little tea bag. Next is our oil, and it says Solar Crown Anointing Oil. There's something very familiar in there, but I can't... Mm, I really don't know. I cannot tell you what is in there, but it's something... It's something I feel like I have in a perfume, but I'm just not sure what it is. So we'll have to find out at the end. So we'll move on to our salt and see if I'm any better with that. Ooh, Morning Glow Salt. Again, it's one of those things where it's an incredibly familiar smell and it'll probably annoy me whenever I see what it is, but I just can't place it. But it smells lovely. It's quite like herbal smelling. Oh, here's our spray. This spray is Sol, which was also on the print at the start. Oh, this smells quite citrusy. Let me give it a proper spritz. Mmm, yeah, that's very citrusy. Maybe a little bit of lemon balm in there as well, but definitely feeling like there is maybe a mixture of citrus fruits. It definitely smells very like sunshiny. It's lovely. Next up, we have our spell candle. Ooh, this middle band of paper doesn't want to come off, but you get the idea. It is a lovely yellow beeswax candle. Delightful. Okay, we have our crystal or stone this month. And I'm going to assume that it's green calcite. I, I would assume just from the artwork. Yes, that is green calcite right there, if I am not mistaken. And that is lovely. Oh, and then we have two things left. So first we have a little box. Ooh. So the little box contains, ooh, ooh, ooh. So the little box had this. Beautiful, beautiful pendant. And on the back it says, blessed be three times. That is so, so nice. I really love this. If I wasn't wearing a necklace, very low down for some reason. I can't on with my hair. Not only has this come off because I mustn't have secured it properly, but I can't be bothered with more. This is actually just a little necklace that I made a while ago with a real little forget-me-not in there. <laughs> I like this. Also, very much like this one that we just got from the box. So yeah, that is lovely. I would put it on if just my hair wasn't making everything too difficult and if I weren't much too tired. Finally, we have something very beautiful and it is 
the green man himself. It's a lovely little wall plaque. This is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to hang this up. It is just beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look through, shall we? Ooh, this box is called Of Rays and Roots. Summer Green Man plaque, yes. Summer and Green Man Book of Shadows artwork, yes. Fine Pewter Triquetra pendant with chain, yes. Is it Triquetra or Triquetra? It's one of those things where I've only ever read it, I haven't actually heard someone say it, so it's hard to know. And that symbol dates back to as early as 500 BCE. I'm not sure when that stopped recording. Soul Book of Shadows artwork, yes. Morning Glow Sacred Salt, yes. And it has bergamot, lemongrass, and sage oils, along with St. John's wort, raspberry leaf, and marigold herbs. And I think the marigold herbs is what I was smelling that I couldn't place. And there's also a mixture of Brightest Blessings magical oil in there. There is the lemongrass ritual rope incense, uh-huh. Tears of Apollo ritual herbal tea with tea bag, yes. It has, oh, people told me how to say that before and I've forgotten, is it rooibos? Rooibos tea, cranberries, orange peel, and hibiscus. We have the raspberry leaf, yes. Orange peel, yes. Green calcite stone, yes. Green calcite correspondences, book of shadows, artwork, yes. Personalized oracle reading and parchment paper, yes. My goodness gracious, I enjoyed this so much, but I am also thankful it's over because I'm just, the longer it goes on, the more I'm losing my ability to speak. That was a struggle. I think I'm just tired and sore. But yes, I enjoyed this very much. These were absolutely beautiful boxes, curated with the most wonderful things, and I had an absolutely lovely time smelling everything, seeing everything, feeling everything. It was just very good. So thank you very, very much to The Witch's Moon for sending me these boxes. And obviously thank you guys very, very much for tuning in to watch. As always, if you enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up and leave a little comment and let me know how you're doing because I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here and you enjoyed this, do consider subscribing. We would love to have you join the family. Of course, you can check out some other videos first and see what you think. And if you want to join the family in an extra way, you can always check out my Patreon. It is the best possible way to support this channel. Patreon is a website that lets you tip your favorite content creators for the content that they provide to you. The link, as always, is in the description and if you wanted to maybe have a little look and see what that's all about, I would love that. All right, so I'm going to go sleep because clearly I need it and I've got many things to do. I have I have exciting news coming, finally, after <laughs> after a long time of, of like, you know, just tuning into this channel be like, hey guys, here's all the bad things that are going on. I've got some good, exciting news, so but I'm going to be busy with that for a while and you can't know just yet, so you're gonna have to be patient, but there are things happening. Okay, I'm off and I will see you in the next video. Bye lovelies.